Hello YouTube, my name is Ganga and a little while back I posted a TikTok asking people which Stardew Bachelor or Bachelorette had them hooked from the start. And when I tell you the Stardew lovers had some opinions, I mean they had a lot of opinions. So I went through every single one of those comments. We are going to crunch some of those numbers right here, right now, to decide who really is the best Stardew Valley spouse. Fair warning, a number of people mentioned NPCs were not actually romanceable characters in the game, and I would personally get down on my hands and knees and beg for Sandy to marry me, so I'm just including every vanilla Stardew NPC in this video. But honorable mention to some of the modded characters that people did mention in the comments. First off, we'll do the easy and obvious math. No one said any of the child characters or the door. There were also zero comments about Gil, George, Evelyn, Birdie, Demetrius, Pam, Morris, Professor Snail, Fizz, the henchman, the bouncer, and the governor. The last one with no comments kind of shocked me, but no one said Gus. No one wants a man who can cook and has a stable job? Also, thank God there were no comments about Grandpa. Now, if you're deep into Stardew TikTok, the top three NPCs will probably not surprise you. So we're going to start with the lower numbers, because the fact some of these characters are even mentioned shook me to my core. The non-romanceable characters, the following had one comment. Marlin, Lewis, Caroline, Marnie, Pierre, Clint, and Key. The fact Caroline is on the same level as Lewis upsets me so much. Where is the Caroline love? Get Marnie and Caroline away from those toxic men. And we had two people mention Linus and Krobus, but in a platonic partner way. You can actually have Krobus live with you, but I stuck him in here just because you can't truly romance him. And I fully support the love of Linus and Krobus. Two people each also mentioned Jody and Kent. And I just wanted to throw in this comment from another Stardew TikTok of mine. Enough said. Four people are interested in Rasmodius the Wizard. Five for Sandy and five for Willy. I honestly expected more for both Sandy and Willy, but maybe if the question had directly included all NPCs, not just bachelors and bachelorettes, they would have had more? And at the top of the pack for non-romanceable characters is Robin. So many people hate Demetrius that I think some of this is less loving Robin and more wanting to steal her from him. But who knows, 11 people mentioned her. Now for the characters you can actually marry to determine the most preferred Stardew spouse. At the bottom, we have a shocking lack of votes for Emily. Emily was actually voted in to be a romanceable character during a previous Stardew update because she was not originally romanceable as an NPC. So the fact that she has so few picks feels odd. Tied at 11 comments is Penny and Maru. I'm a Penny hater personally, but I have married Maru in the game before, and both of them have pretty cute spouse rooms. Next, coming in with 23 comments is Abigail, and with 26 is Leah. I was a little surprised by the lack of comments about both of these two. I personally know a lot of people who like to romance Abigail, and I thought Leah would appeal more to the masses. But maybe the fact she's one of the NPCs who leaves her house less often makes her less likely. Another surprise for me was Alex coming in at only 39 comments. I think maybe he's just too much of a basic jerky jock who turns out to be soft when you get to know him. Or maybe lots of people don't get to know him soon enough to realize he isn't entirely a jerk. Who knows, but the people have spoken and he is not even top 5. And before I tell you the last romanceable NPC that didn't make top 5, Make sure you subscribe here and drop a follow over on my Twitch. Coming in at 66 comments, we have Sam. However, it is important to note that multiple people said they especially, or only, like Sam in his winter outfit. Apparently Mr. Concerned Ape knew what he was doing with that portrait. Now, coming in with 69 comments and taking fifth place is Elliot. I never would have expected this man to be top five. I find his character kind of boring, and it's so difficult to get his first couple hearts because he is locked in that room. All the powers to the lovers of men with long hair though. Number four has just 10 more comments. That 79 is Sebastian. Gamers liking emo boys does check out and it is nice to have something to do with all your frozen tears. Like I said earlier, the top three is probably not a surprise to you if you're big in the Stardew fandom, especially on TikTok. The exact numbers I have for the top three is 90 comments for Shane, 95 for Harvey, and then if the amount of thirst traps, comics, and fan art of her wasn't already enough to confirm it, the people have decided 
with an absolute sweep of 144 comments that Haley is the favorite and possibly best Stardew spouse. I've never romanced Haley in the game myself, but after seeing all the love for her resident blonde mean girl, I think I might have to on my next save. I will say, as far as being the best spouses, I actually do quite like Haley's spouse room. However, I would put Shane in dead last for that, not third place. I think if you can get past the original blunt to the point of rude exterior, the only real downside to marrying Haley is that her spouse gifts are pretty mediocre. Mostly, she just bakes you food you could easily make yourself. Let me know in the comments if you agree with the top three or not and which Stardew NPC you usually pick to be your spouse, or which non-romanceable character do you wish you could pick to be your spouse?